Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, how do you feel about questions? You know, when people ask you questions. See, I personally love questions. Uh, you know, I, I love answering questions. I have uh, two three-year-old grandchildren, and they ask questions. You know, and, and I love answering them on their three-year-old level uh, about saying, why? I don't ever get tired of questions. When my girls were little and they'd say, why, why, why? I'd give them explanations. And uh, sometimes my wife would say, they don't get it. And I go, it doesn't matter. I'm going to try to answer the question. So I love answering questions, uh, especially biblical questions and faith questions. So if you want to make my day, schedule an appointment. You know, let's go lunch or come into the office and just ask me a bunch of questions about God's word, about how to live for God, about, you know, what this means. Uh, I, I love that, that, that whole process of learning. And that's what questions are all about. So uh, I love answering questions, but are you ready to answer questions, especially faith questions? Because the Apostle Peter challenges us uh, really specifically to be ready. Listen to this, 1 Peter 3, 15. He says, but in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. Did you catch that? If you're going to honor Christ as holy in your life, you've got to be ready to answer questions. And he says, give a defense, but do it with gentleness and respect. In other words, when people ask us questions about our faith, when they ask us questions about our Bible, uh, then uh, don't get angry. Don't get defensive. Even if they're attacking, don't get angry and defensive. There's no point in that. That's not going to win them over. And, and remember, the, the goal is not to win an argument. The goal is to win someone to Christ. And if you keep that in mind, you won't get angry just because they're, they're skeptical. Uh, look, I've seen some skeptics come to faith in Christ because of reasoned answers and challenges that they couldn't answer. And you may not be confident in that, but honestly, that's why we want you to read the Bible. Because we know if you read and apply God's Word, God's going to change your life, but you're also going to learn about Christ. You're going to be able to answer more questions. So uh, read to learn. Take classes to learn. Uh, I love our life groups. Being a life group because uh, there's lots of questions that are asked, at least in my life group, there's lots of questions that are asked and, and you can learn from those. Do the daily Bible reading. I, I encourage everybody to do that. Find one that you like and read every single day. But as you gain that knowledge, then answer the questions. But remember, be gentle, be kind, be biblical, be transparent. This is really important. If you don't know the answer, just say, I don't know. I'm going to research that. Don't try to BS your way through the Bible. That's not going to work. It's going to make you look bad. It's going to make God look bad. And, and don't just say, well, I think it says in there somewhere because Scripture gets misrepresented a lot and we don't want to misrepresent Jesus. So uh, I'm just encouraging you to learn so that when your unchurched friends begin to ask questions, when you share your story and somebody says, yeah, but that you don't get angry, you don't get defensive, but you're ready to give an account for the hope that is in you. Now, I have to go back to this point to, to wrap this up. If you don't have hope in you, then you need to go ahead and begin with Jesus Christ and surrendering your life to him. Uh, I've known a lot of people in church who couldn't give any answers to any questions and I'm not sure they really had the hope of life eternal in Jesus Christ in them. So begin there, and let's work our way up so that we are ready whenever we're called upon. I hope that helps. I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.